In this video we will learn how to make obstacle avoidance robot. This robot will walk in a room without hitting a object. Items needed are car chassis with 4 DC motor and wheel, 2 power, 1 for powering Arduino. It could be 9 volt battery or it could be USB power bank and second power to power the motor. It could be 9 volt or 12 volt battery. Next L298 motor driver, one ultrasonic sensor, a small breadboard, a small servo motor, one Arduino Uno and few jumper wires. So before starting let's first look into the system from top. So this is a complete system where ultrasonic sensor will detect the distance of obstacle from the car and will give this information to Arduino. Arduino will read this distance information and find if next to car there is an obstacle. If there is no obstacle, it will give instruction to L298 motor driver to move the car in the forward direction. In case if there is an obstacle nearby to the car, it will give command to servo motor to turn on the left side and then find the obstacle and then again it will give command to servo motor to turn on the right side and check the obstacle distance based on the obstacle distance on the left or right side Arduino will decide in which direction motor should move and will give that command to motor driver and accordingly car will move in that direction so here is a connection if you are not familiar with running DC motor from L298 driver Please look into my another video on how to make a smartphone control car. There I have covered uh, this these wirings in detail. So here L298 driver is being powered from the 9 volt battery in the plus 12 volt and the ground is connected to the ground. And motors are connected to the output of the L298 driver. Here two motors are connected and here two motors are connected. Input to control the direction of the motor and the speed of motor is given from Arduino. So there is six input which is coming from Arduino to the driver. Then there is a servo motor which on which uh, ultrasonic sensor will be installed. So this motor I am not powering from Arduino because I do not want to load the Arduino. L298 motor driver also gives 5 volt output. It has a 5 volt regulator. I am taking this 5 volt out and powering servo motor from the same power supply and even ultrasonic sensor also from the same power supply. So here you can see servo is connected to VCC and ground of L298 motor driver and ultrasonic sensors also VCC and ground is connected to the same power supply. And then uh, ultrasonic sensor has two more input trigger and echo. So echo is connected to pin 10, trigger is connected to pin 11. Then Arduino is being powered from the 9 volt power supply. So this is all about connection. Let's go to the next slide and understand the software logic. When Arduino starts, its ultrasonic sensors will be facing to the front to detect the obstacle in the front. Arduino will detect the obstacle from the UV sensor. And if obstacle in the front is away than 50 centimeter, then car can safely move in the forward direction. So it is moving in the forward direction. So always it is in this loop and moving in the forward direction. As soon as it finds there is an obstacle in the front which is less than 50 centimeter, it comes here and moves the servo motor to the right direction which is uh, 10 degree. I am taking 10 degree and it fires the ultrasonic sensors and, and checks the obstacle distance on the right side. Then it moves the servo to the left side. It's uh, 170 degree and detects the distance of obstacle on the left side of the car and then it puts a logic and decides in which direction car has to move so if distance of obstacle on the left side is equal to the right side but on the both side obstacle is nearby so first it will reverse for the 200 millisecond and then again it will go back and decide in which direction it needs to move if on the left side obstacle is nearer then it will take the right, right turn for 700 millisecond and it will go back to the normal top loop. If distance of obstacle on the left side is 
equal to the right side or greater than it will take turn on the left side for 200 millisecond and then will go back again to the top facing to the front and start finding the obstacle in the front of car so now after covering this software logic let's have a look into arduino code here I am including a new ping library for the ultrasonic sensors to detect the obstacle distance and these are some hash defines. I am including the servo library to control the servo motor. Pin 7 and 8 is connected to the motor driver to control uh, one motor and to the second motor is being controlled from the pin 12 and 13 of the Arduino. The speed of the DC motor I have selected as a 90 and servo motor is connected to the pin 9. Here ultrasonic sensors, trigger pin and echo pin is connected to pin 10 and 11 of the Arduino. I create an instance for ultrasonic sensor to detect the obstacle distance. So I need to pass the trigger pin, echo pin and what is the maximum obstacle distance it needs to return. Then moving down, I'll, I'll move to the setup function. In setup function, all the motor pins are configured as an output pin because these pins are going to L298 motor driver to control the direction of motor. So motor A, pin 1 and pin 2 is output pin and enable pin for a motor A is output pin. For second motor, pin 1 and pin 2 is output pin. Speed control for second motor, enable pin is output pin. This is configuration for ultrasonic sensor that trigger pin as an output pin and echo pin as an input pin. Then here I attach a servo motor, put a servo motor to the 90 degree. In this case it will be facing towards the front of the car. So after that I move to the loop function. So in loop function at the starting always it is facing to the front of the car and then it detects the distance of obstacle using this function obstacle distance. We'll just have a look into that function later. This function returns the distance in centimeter. So if this distance, I have configured it as a fifth, this macro as a 50 centimeter. So if this distance is greater than 50 centimeter, it means obstacle is not within 50 centimeter, move in a forward direction. If obstacle is within 50 centimeter, stop the robot, turn the servo motor to the 10 degrees and see the obstacle distance at 10 degrees that means on the right side then come down we need to give some delay here I'm giving here delay as a 500 milliseconds so that servo motor moves to the destination position ultrasonic sensor also cannot be continuously fired so there should be at least a delay of 40 milliseconds that's the reason I here I'm giving a 40 milliseconds of the delay next I am moving servo motor to 170 degree Again giving 500 millisecond delay so that servo motor moves to 170 degree. After that it finds the obstacle distance on the left side. So now in two variables distance left and right it has the obstacle distance. It compares with the same logic which we have already seen in the, in the flow chart. So it checks based on that logic and decides if left and right side distance are same but it is within 50 milliseconds then first reverse the motor for 200 millisecond if left side distance is more than right side take the turn on the left side if the obstacle on the left side is near to the right side then take the right turn so this is all about code and let's have a look on to how we are checking the obstacle distance so for this there is already a ping library you can have a look into that new ping how it works for the detail so here I just start initiating the ping. Once this function is called, it gives the distance of obstacle in the centimeter. So I just ping it and get the distance in centimeter. Let's have a look into forward and reverse. So here to forward the motor, I am writing into motor enable pin. This is an analog write. We can control the speed of motor and then writing motor input pin, the direction to rotate the motor. And here high and low to, ro to rotate the motor for reverse this other way so in forward A was high and low and B was high and low for reverse is that low and high swept here is a code to take a left turn here left motor will be moving in the reverse direction right side motor will be moving in the forward direction 
this is a code to take a right turn and here is a code to stop the motor where enable is made zero so in that case motor will not move so here is a robot with all the connection done and as described in the video i will power arduino from usb power bank and motors using a 12 volt dc wall adapter but ideally you should be using a 12 volt battery so now let's see it in action